in the beginning, we thought everything would be easy. Um, but that just shows that how naive, in a way, that we were all kind of innocent. A few months into this um, company, this brand new company, we encountered a lot of problems. Not just um, programming-wise, but financial-wise, and money run out fast. The little money that we borrowed from the bank. So uh, at that time, uh, I am, um, even though my husband bring home income, but the income is cut into half. Um, I have two small kids, and uh, people think, oh, you know, you work from home, and you can't have kids at home, but that's not the case, um, especially de doing development uh, on the software. I can't have a two-year-old and four-year-old running around the house. So I still have to take them to the daycare. So you can see the expense still there. Um, so that was a faith that I had ever experienced it. That to go on, even though knowing this with my physical, my eye, that I can see that things is getting pretty bad. I just don't know how long I can do try. Um, those are the days I'm thinking back. Um, is how God has taken me day to day. Um, it's not just one time, but every single day. How He encouraged me and uh, gave me going. Uh, I remember there's one incident um, that back then we don't work very long hours. Um, Robbie um, had gone home after 36 hours without any sleep. So he went home to sleep, and uh, I, uh, before he left, he had a long list of the items he asked me to collect on his machine. And then back then, we all were working from my house, and I have the spare bedroom that we all cramp in there, and our machine is just next to each other. And um, that day, I'm, I'm left by myself. It's a rather gloomy really day for me. And uh, Robbie gone home, and I have no other people in the room. I just by myself, and I was having a long little self correction I had to do. And I remember um, I was uh, making the correction, and I said to myself, I was like typing the keyboard, I said to myself, this is hopeless. This is really a hopeless situation. And then all of a sudden, I looked on my eyes, I saw a little calendar that Robbie and I had used every day. It had a verse on it. And um, all of a sudden I look up um, the, the calendar, it was not a verse on my eyes, but the commentary on that day, on that calendar, that Robbie had forgot to flip. And uh, on the comment it said, it says, God says to his people, I'm not through with you yet. You have not arrived to your promised land yet. And I, it, it shocked me so much. I, I literally turned my head in the room, in the dark room by myself to see if somebody stood behind me. And then that was really a great uh, boost for me and knowing that God had heard my prayer and He had kept me. And then it just not getting up. And in the beginning of Tritech, you know, it was just the three of us. It was Kathy, Robert, and I. And uh, we were work, working extremely long hours uh, because we had to do all 50 states in both life and PNC. Uh, with just the three of us. And we did everything. We marketed it, we, we made the forms, we calculated it, and so we did what well, we have various groups to do now, we did it all. And um, <clears throat> so the busy season uh, became very long and it was very stressful and we had long hours. And since we were working so many hours um, at home, I was typically the one that took care of all the finances. Um, but my wife, um, who I've been married to for two years by the time we started Tritech, uh, and who had to come to Kathy's house in order to see me because we were working such long hours, um, she took over all the finances and stuff. And she was raised in a Christian home. And, and I was not. I was raised by a single mom. and I, I really didn't uh, go to church on a regular basis at all uh, until I was probably 19 or 20. Um, so, but my wife, being raised in a Christian home, was taught to tithe, and that's just something you do, you know. And so, uh, it turns out in 96, she became pregnant with my son, Colton. And uh, so she, she wanted to be able to stay at home 
permanently. And I was just trying to figure out a way for her to stay at home for 12 weeks. <laughs> Um, because uh, when we started TriTech, we were we really kind of tightened our belts, trying to make it uh, so that we could survive. We took out a small business loan, and we were trying to make that amount of money last as long as it could. And uh, so we we were working a lot, getting paid nothing. And so my wife was making most of the money and doing the tithing and everything, and she became pregnant. And of course, during the busy season, I couldn't even think about it. But after the busy season, around March, I started looking at our personal finances and seeing, wait a minute, she makes all the money, and we're going to be without it for a period of time because she's going to have a baby. And she doesn't really ever want to go back to work. And I need to find some money somewhere. And, and of course, what popped out to me being an accountant was that, hey, we've been giving money to the church. I, it'd be easy to take that money and start using it to help us, you know, make it through this tough period of time. And But I've been growing and, and, and learning and trying to become a better Christian and understanding God's ways. And so me and my wife talked about it and we decided uh, that I was going to stop paying bills before we stopped paying God. And of course, we never missed a bill. My wife never went back to work. And uh, it, that was all, all pretty awesome. So that really strengthened my faith because it was in the, God's Word. It said, test me in this. It said, just try and see if your barns aren't overflowing. And by golly, if my barns didn't start overflowing <laughs> after I tested him, I tested him. I said, hey, we're going to try this. And it worked out beautifully. And, and i got to be honest, there's no part of my faith that's stronger than tithing. Uh, and probably it should be in other areas, but that's the strongest because I, I walked it out. I took the chance and relied on God, and He comes through every time. I believe how He lead us. We pray for the company. Even at the beginning, we dedicate this place and we dedicate the building. And then with the faith that, that we really um, trust God that leading this company, no matter what. Um, I'm not saying that if you believe Jesus, your company is going to be successful. I'm just saying, if you believe in Him and you trust Him, things are going to be okay, no matter what. If you can be brave enough to just take that little step that looks like it's just air, God's really right there and He's going to hold you and carry you through.